Hey guys, uh, today is the first March and you are just 60 days away from your next CMA it was the exam window that is uh, May June window. So it's time to study more strategically than before. First of all, uh, which are part of CMA it was the exam that you are writing uh, whether it's a part 1 or part 2 make sure your theoretical concept on each topic is 100% clear. Secondly, as you know more than 70% of your CMA exam is based on MCQs. So solve uh, MCQs as much you can from any resources as you can collect. So, you know, basically all renowned publishers may, may be Hawk, uh, Glime, uh, Surgeon, Wiley have that 30 to 40 percentage of the question are all common um, as they are all given by IMA UC. So take the maximum advantage of the software. You have to measure your exam readiness. Uh, apart from that, uh, collect more questions uh, as you can from your institute seniors or faculties and solve them keeping a watch on your time. Yes. Time is the most important factor in a CMA US exam. I've seen a lot of students who are all conceptually clear but couldn't score good in a CMA US exam because they didn't uh, answer the paper within uh, time. So time bounding or uh, time bound practicing is very, very important. Thirdly, uh, how to handle essay questions in CMA US exam? A student uh, who are all good in MCQs can, uh, you know, do good in fourth hour or essay round two. Still, you need to keep certain things, you know, in your mind while preparing uh, for essays. The first thing is uh, make sure you have clear covered all the concepts. And the second thing is practice, practice, practice. Try to take uh, more mocks as that will increase your speed. The third thing is uh, while answering the questions, uh, give your answers in bulleted point uh, rather than giving in paragraphs. Thank you everybody and feel free to contact me in the address uh, given in description for any support and don't forget to like my video uh, and subscribe to Uplift Pro channel for your benefit.